if we're if we we should be lucky enough focus blast if it hits should kill it no please live please live we just need please live he got paralysis no Yo, what's up everyone? It's CarsonRx35 here. Welcome back to another episode of PokeFind Adventures. I believe this is episode 21 and we are going, and I mean we are going to make progress on this medical quest. We are either going to make progress or finish it today. That is our main goal of today's episode. That is all we need to get done. We just want to make some progress. Everyone on the team is level 100 except for Polyrath. Polyrath is level 92. Now, one guy commented, Nick, Nick commented that I should add either the Squirtle or the Rhydon to my team and replace a Polyrath as the recommendations. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out the last episode. It was well worth it. A whole lot of fun. Anyways, they're good egg Pokemon to replace. I would love to have a Blastoise, a nice strong water type over a secondary water type like Kabutops or uh, Polyrath that also loses us one of our fighting moves. Um, and Groudon, I'm, I just said Groudon, they were talking about Groudon in the chat earlier. <laughs> Rhydon is another ground type and rock type, so we would have a big, big weakness to water, no, I mean grass types, no matter what, because Kabutops is 4 extra to grass types, and that means, and Gr Rhydon is ground rock, so that means he would be 4 x weak to grass types, and then, while on... That's two mons, doubly weak to grass types, versus a mon and it's doubly weak and a mon that's it's just weak against. So, but let's get into this today. I have what I believe is perfected a somewhat viable strategy to beating this guy. It goes off what we were doing last time, and then we almost beat him. So let's see if we can do that. We're gonna start off with Victory Bell. Victory Bell is very good for the beginning of this battle. He's gonna come in with Onyx, and we can one-shot him with Leaf Blade. Easy peasy. Next is Jolteon. Jolteon's kind of an iffy because he could kill us or he couldn't. He hasn't done it once yet. We can survive two Shadow Balls from Jolteon after he paralyzes us if neither are crits. He does Thunder Wave first every single time. If this strategy works, we should be able to get down to his last Pokemon, which is a Dragonite, with at least four Pokemon left. Jolteon's fainted? Was that a crit? No, he just didn't hit us with Shadow Ball that time. Okay, so that's great. So Victor Bell's not even hurt. So I'm going to go with Leaf Storm. Because if we can knock out Starmie as well with Victor Bell. I didn't think so. That would have been overpowered. Half his team with one mod. But it's okay. Two versus one. We're up one Pokemon. Next is Alakazam. Because Starmie can't do anything to Alakazam being a water psychic type. We can one shot him with Energy Ball. Because it's super effective and a high power move. Even though it's not Stab. Because it's a grass and not psychic type. If you don't know what Stab is by the way. It's basically... It's stronger, so a psychic Pokemon using a psychic move is stronger than a psychic Pokemon using a grass move. That psychic move would have stab more damage than his grass move. That's the way it is. But then we can use Nidoking. Nidoking's easy just one shot. Next is the Snorlax. Now, the best thing we can do, what I think is, is do as much damage as we can with Alakazam. As much as I would love to have him for the Dragonite, I think I have enough other options because I plan on having Raichu and Charizard and Kabutops. Um, I should be able to do this. Psychic, we can get him down to at least half HP because of his leftovers. He's going to one-shot us with Body Slam. He used, what, one Curse, right, or two? We only got two Psychics off. Curse and Body Slam. He only has one Curse off right now, which is really good. So what we're going to do is send out Polyrath and put him to sleep. Yes, he can use Sleep Talk, but it's not a guarantee which move he's going to use. So, if he uses Rest, it's the waste of move. Please land Hypnosis. Yes! As long when we can survive one Body Slam with Polyrath, no matter how many times he's upped his defenses and his attack, because it usually goes up three. I think that's the only time we can't survive it. Now, we're going to go with the Body Slam. We just get a little bit damage on him that we can. Last time I tried this, he woke up. That was a critical, too. That helped. Oh, he woke up. Body Slam. Perfect. Boom. Okay. Now, we're going to go Body Slam again. Polyrath use Body Slam. Nice. So we're going to do any damage you can. I was going to circle throw him, but I, I have a reason I'm not going to. Because we didn't use any fighting type moves on Polyrath, which was supposed to be the big advantage for him. We're going to go out to Raichu. 
because Dragonite's next, and if we're if we we should be lucky enough, Focus Blast if it hits should kill it. No, please live, please live. We just need please live. He got paralysis. No, that was our big moment. Raichu was our chance, and he, we needed him for Dragonite. Okay, we're in a tough pickle here. I think a Kabutops is our next best move. We only have Kabutops and Charizard left, don't we? That's all we have, because everyone else is gone. Yeah, okay. Kabutops and Charizard, not bad. Brick Break, come on. Come on, come on. 120 versus 75. Okay, if we can survive one attack. He flinched, yes. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is all we need. Brick break. Yes, okay. This Dragonite is going to be really, really tough because we do not have Raichu, which was our key to this. We don't have anything really good against him. Uh, I don't have stab moves either. So Brick Break is stronger. So I think we're just going to go Brick Break over Night Slash. Come on, just do good damage. That was damage. It's not, yeah, not very effective. Thunder Punch. Will that kill us with her rock tape? Oh my god, we survived with one HP. That was still super effective. Holy crap. Way to hold on there, Kabu Tops. Because I need you to do as much damage as possible. We're going with Night Slash. Come on, come on. That did more damage. We should have used Night Slash the first time, but that's okay. Kabu Tops is gone. We're on our last Mon here. Yes! He took a little bit of recoil damage. I mean, from his life orb. Okay, so we only have Charizard. We're going to see what a flamethrower can do. We sh oh, Earthquake's not useful. Wing attack's not useful. So it's Flamethrower or Flare Blitz. He can use Thunder Punch, which will probably kill us. So we're going to go with Flare Blitz. Come on. It's 120 stab. No, that did not kill us. Please. Please do not kill us. Thunder Punch. Come on. Come on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't. No! It was so close. And I mean so ridiculously close. I think that if we had either, Raichu should have hit his Mon. If Raichu had hit his Focus Blast, we would have been fine. So I think because Focus Blast is so unpredictable, I think using Kabutops, wait, talk to Nurse Iris at Wyvern Village. Oh, it just, did, what did it do to my quest? It reset my quest. Why did it do that? Maybe... Wh why did it reset my quest? All my mods here? Okay. Does that mean I'm going to have to go through this entire thing again? I mean, it wasn't hard. We can run through it real quick. But we were at the... Well, it seemed like the end of the quest, but it, it literally looked like it had just reset my quest. And it says it in the quest guide, too. So I'm not sure what that is. So we're going to go to Wyvern Village. We have to the nos talk to Nurse Iris. That's what it says. Okay, I'm right clicking. I've got no information on her. Talk to Nurse Iris. The Hello, Iris, Nurse Iris. I don't think it's. I think the visuals are messed up. Let's go see if we can battle him. If not, I'm going to have to take a quick cut and see if I can get some moderator's help. Okay, but yeah, so I think we go with the exact same strategy that we were using before. But this time we go out to Kabutops instead of Raichu. Because if you look, Kabutops basically finished off that Snorlax. It was jokes. And we used Night Slash over the that Night Slash over Brick Break on the Dragonite. And we have Brick Break on Snor on Kabutops. Because Kabutops can survive. But at the same time, we have no idea how many curses he's going to go for. Look, he's gone. Okay, so this is weird. So yeah, the quest reset. And I can't go back there yet. That's interesting. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone. Because of what time I'm recording, it is 1.30 a.m. for me. There are no mods online. So I don't know what's happened with the quest. It's glitched up and it went back to talking to Nurse Iris. And I cannot continue it. I'm going to see what I can do about that later today when there are some mods online because luckily I don't have to work for the next couple days but this is the Team Rocketeer member in the Articuno quest this is the third one we have to battle to find out where Articuno is before we continue the quest he said that it was somewhere near a farm so I knew it was either Fortree because I had tiny farms or here in Aurora this is the only place it could be I have no idea what he's going to start out with so let's go 
So you must be the trainers everyone talking about. You look easy to beat. Sand Slash. Victor Bell was a great choice to start out with. Let's go with Leap Blade and finish the Sand Slash off. I had no idea. Oh, that did a lot of damage, but not what I was hoping for. Damage by its life. Oh, okay, we can finish it off. That did a lot of damage to us, but we can finish him off with one Leaf Blade now because of that life orb damage. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do it before. No idea what this guy's team's going to be. But took down one of his mons, and now Golem. Okay, he's got two more mons, and we're super effective on this one right away. So, so far, he's really weak to grass and water types. Leaf Storm. Boom, finish him off. No sturdy for you. Thank you. Get out of here, Golem. What's next? Come on. And a Marowak. Let's go with Leaf Storm again. See if we can sweep this team with just Victory Bell. Leaf Storm did not do as much damage as I thought it was. Interesting. That's okay. Double Edge. That's going to take our Victory Bell. No big deal at all. We're just going to send in Alexam. Doesn't really matter we send in as long as we send in someone that can attack him. Energy Ball or Psychic. Doesn't matter. We should finish him off here. Oh, I'm surprised. It was super effective too, so Psychic might have... I don't know if his super effective would have been more or less because of Stab. And then Double Edge again. That Double Edge is hard and curious, but he does do damage to himself, I'm pretty sure. Let's do this. I'm going to do this Body Slam. Earthquake. That's not going to kill us. Good try, though. So we finished up this guy. I wonder where we have to go next. Come on. I really threw that one away. No matter, the next team member of Rocket will toss you out for sure. Battle the fourth team Rocket member where you can see the planes take off. Planes take off? I'm not even sure what town that would be. Where I would see planes take off? So Sky... I don't know. I, I, I think of a city like Battle City or Amp city one of those would be i would think would have him but i'm not sure yeah that's still weird but battle of the fourth team rocket member where you can see the planes take off planes not in planes as in field planes as in things that fly okay so let's look at the city list here let's see if we can figure this out because this is part of the quest is figuring out where it is wyvern village that's where we are for a different quest it wouldn't be there in planes don't take off Chromium City, maybe. Breeding Center, no. Snowtip City, no. Smog, I wouldn't think so. We don't. We have not even Basil visited Battle City. Aurora Village, that's where we just came from, so I don't think so. Petra, it's a rocky mountain terrain. I doubt they would have planes take off there. Mystical Keep, maybe. I'm not sure though. No, not Anti Alma. See, we haven't been to Amp City either. That's a Moot Mania. Fortree Village, there's trees everywhere. Amethyst Town? Amber City, Falls Lagoon, Coast City, Aether Village. You know, I'm not really sure. Huh. Where? Let's try Chromium City. Where do plane? Let's see if we can get some help. Take off for fourth member of Team Rocket uh, Bird Quest Okay, so while hopefully someone can answer that and help us out We're gonna go through here and see if we can find out I'm not really sure Where planes would take off That's an interesting one I don't think anyone's gonna answer our question either I'm getting stuck in this grass Oh no Okay, that's a trainer, not a bad trainer either, good level, but not what we're looking for. More trainers, okay, so it's clearly not right here. Maybe if we go to this side of the city? It also could not be here at all. I'm not really sure what they would mean by where t planes take off. Uh, where's fourth team rocket member for... Bird quest. I, I I just I do not know where planes would take off at. Uh, people are trying to borrow Pokemon for their own quest. That's interesting. Um, I don't see anywhere. 
Nowhere for planes. Uh, I think this is all of the city. We, yeah. I don't see anywhere where planes would take off or anything like that. So I do not think that we are any good here. So we're going to slash spawn. Uh, making sure no one answered our question. We didn't notice. No, okay. Where else can we check? It's a bit of a adventure exploring episode but if we can't find them soon we're gonna have to wrap it up for today oh if you've made it this far into the video comment down below if i should use squirtle or rygon whoever's voted more whoever has the top comment is the one i use personally i'd like to use um squirtle but i think my, uh, he was right in that rygon is a better choice for my team Okay, where I snow doesn't make any plain sense for planes. We're open area, Falls Lagoon Coast. Let's go Coast City. You know, people fly to the coast to and from the coast every single day. Wide open areas. I have no idea where planes would be over here, but you know, you just you never know. Let's go in this direction though. Let's see if we can figure this out. Do, 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 do. Anything over here? No. That's just forest over there. That's a pathway. I'm not sure where it would take me, though. Usually it has, like, road two, but I don't see any of that. Let me see. Come up here. I think there's a map up here. There's definitely something. Okay, so that's how you get to Amethyst Town. And what's this way? What's this? It's just a building here. Okay, two Pokestops. Yeah, I'll take Pokestops. Get all me the items. All right, there's Amp City. We have not been to Amp City. Okay, so let's travel to Amp City. Let's see what's over there. I'm going to ask my question again. Uh, I missed... Type. Oh my god, it's too similar. Where? Eh. I, just, I like I like the chat system so they can't spam, but I feel like they do it over the top. They, they need to be able to say something similar over and over again, but not in the same words. It's just kind of hard to reword yourself so many times. People understand you. Amp City! Here we come! Amp Amp City! Don't even know what's gotten there yet. Ooh, this is an interesting walkway. It's a bridge. Cool bridge, though. Okay. Nice. There's Amp City. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Oh, that's a Zapdos. I think that that's a pix, pic art, pixel art of. I mean, Electric City. I would think so. Or is it just a bird? It's white. It's like the shape of any legendary bird but nothing specific yeah it's zapdos why not make it yellow though i mean they've got the zapdos flags i don't understand this is where you would come for the zapdos team wouldn't it what the what is this this is cool little shop it's supposed to be like an arcade or something this is cool ah oh, that's cool this is a bunch of team members and trainers you can fight that's kind of sick. I didn't think about ever actually coming inside these buildings. What's up here? Is that more trainers? That's what it looks like, but I can't really tell. Yeah, Jolteon level 52 plus Coolio. Okay, so now we know where more trainers are. That's good for training, because we keep using the same towns. Um, but I do not see anywhere where planes would take off. Hmm. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. There's the Amp City Gym. So what's in the middle here? It's a trainer. Okay. Trainer in the battlefield. More trainers. Ooh, Pokey Stop. Give me, give me, give me. I like that they put a different level trainers everywhere. Ooh, what's over here? Professional Hemlock Quest Giver. What? You must be on Team Instinct for this. What? That's so annoying. Wait, if there's one for instinct, is there one for a? Uh, I'm lowing, running low on money too. Yeah, six thousand. I only have a couple more teleports. I've used a lot of uh, our man over here to teleport around. Is there one in Snowtip City? We're about to end off today's episode. 
and I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. But we're gonna explore Snowtip City, see if we can unlock any more quests first. Snowtip City. Okay. It was in a random building, so let's just search around. That's gonna be the Pokemart. That's the Pokemon Center. That's a closed off building. That's a building with an open door. Anything in here? No. Okay. I, I want nothing up here. I don't see any name tags. That's another trainer. Ooh, I remember last time, though, I was catching Articuno when I played on my own. It happened in over here. So maybe a quick check over here. I don't see anything. Okay. Let's go back to the buildings over this way, actually in the city themselves, and see what we have for ourselves. And not much going on. Anything in here? No. We still have the other half of the city to check out, too. What's in here? Was this? I feel like this was supposed to be the original Pokemon. That was the building design. They changed locations. This is the gym. Okay. I don't see a way in the side of this building. I don't see any name tags like Quest Giver. Because I wouldn't believe that they would only have a quest for just Team Instinct. Like maybe if they came out one at a time, like they were still figuring out the other quests for the other teams. But I don't see why. Oh, you can't be on team instinct unless you do this or you have to be on team in instinct to do this but that's it oh yeah oh wait i thought that was quest giver that's just ski or op that's annoying there quest giver i would think unless that's just okay so these are only for the articuno quest i, I thought we'd run into him before that's annoying and because here's the articuno hideout what's that that's a trainer yeah gold ducks down below Here's the Team Mystic leader. I ain't getting anything from her. Ooh, let's explore the hideout. Let's go downstairs. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, there's a level 30 trainer down here. Golduck. Are you just... Oh, he's on the other side. That's a water window. Hi, Golduck. Hi there, bud. And, ooh. Swimming pool. Ah, towels. Hi, Squirtle. You're kind of floating there. Anyways, I think while we dive into the pool here, whoop, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really did. We got some progress on the quest. We also had some quest mix-ups, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I really appreciate it, and I know it helps out my channel. It lets me know you guys are enjoying the content that we are providing for you here as a family. Anything else I've got to cover? Yes, check out my Twitter at Carson Cowan 2 in the description below. I post out almost every single day when my video goes live, which are usually around 8 in the morning to around 2 p.m. That's the scheduled time frame. I know it's kind of a big window. I prefer getting them up earlier in the mornings, but I don't always have that opportunity. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Anyways, see you all later. Peace, peace.